Hey everybody, Rich here. As promised, here is Windows NT Workstation 4.0. So let's dive right in. Now before continuing, I'm going to move my mic close to my speakers because Windows NT 4.0 arguably has the coolest startup sound that Microsoft ever had. Check this out. That's just nifty. Okay. Get this out of the way up front. Is this an official Windows NT wallpaper? No, it's not. I made it because I wanted it to look cool. Okay, said honestly, after doing the upgrades on this, I was shocked at how usable this is. I said it was mostly unusable. Yeah, I was pretty wrong on that one. This is actually not too bad. You can use this for quite a few things. First of all, I tend to forget how much of an improvement the NT architecture is over the DOS architecture. 95 and 98 are still the best for DOS games, obviously, but this isn't bad. What I did is I installed Kamelian Browser, Miranda, OpenOffice 115, Flash Player 9. Now, Flash is interesting, but I'll cover that in a second. I upgraded the browser from IE2 to IE401 Service Pack 2, so I'd get the quick launch bar and also get the advanced looking Explorer windows. Then I upgraded straight from 401 SP2 to 6. And this is Internet Explorer 6, which is the highest version that NT40 will support. Still usable. It's a terrible browser because it's got more security holes than Swiss cheese, but still usable. Camelion runs really good. Really, really, really good. And NT, I was shocked at how well it ran. So if I go to PCMech.com, you'll notice this thing is loaded nice and quick. It's just good. This is just really, really good. I was really shocked at how well this runs. And uh, Open Office. 115. This is a test document. Works out fine. This is a very ancient version of OpenOffice. As you can tell just by looking at it, 1.1.5. Works good though. Discard. Close. And uh, I can do multi tabs much easier in NT4 than I could in Windows 95. That's for freaking sure. Um, what's another site I can load? Apple. To get Flash in here, I have Flash Player 9. What I did is I went to oldversion.com and Macromedia Flash Player is here and they do have Flash Player 9. Now here's what's interesting about that. It will not work with YouTube, but it will work with blip.tv. So blip actually has more legacy support for Flash than YouTube does. So if I go to uh, my blip site, you'll see in a second, it loads right up. It should show the advertisement in a second. That's what all I want to show here. Full motion video. That's amazing. Now, consider for the moment, this is a 1996 operating system. That's impressive. Seriously impressive. <laughs> it's impressive enough to do that in Windows 2000, but to do that in Windows NT which was released in 1996. Not bad at all. As I said before, the only problem with NT is actually getting things to detect in it. What I had to do to get the Sound Blaster 16 card, a virtual card, to detect, I had to go into settings and then control panel. And by the way, this is where you'll see the wonky nature of Windows XP right here. Uh, excuse me, Windows NT. Where do you go to add a device in Windows NT? You don't see it in the control panel, do you? I had to go to multimedia and then go to the devices tab and then go to add manually, choose Creative Labs Sound Blaster 1X Pro or 16, and it was able to work and the sound was able to start. So that that's 
one of the just scratching the surface of how things are different in Windows NT compared to 2000 or XP. The way to administer users is not done here at all. You have to go to Programs, Administrative Tools, User Manager. So it's actually over here, and this is where you do it. And this is very old school from the Windows NT 3.5 days. 3.5 or 3.5.1, that's where they were. It's purposely separated completely outside of the control panel. It's not even here. Now there is Devices. Uh, for the hardware stuff that is not necessarily to add a device because you'll notice you can start and stop things you can control what happens on startup you do have hardware profiles but you cannot add anything <laughs> NT4 is not really a far cry from NT351 the shell is just different looking it's got a Windows 95 looking shell but the underbelly of it is mostly NT351 as soon as you realize that, then you say to yourself, oh, okay, okay, I get it. Things are a little separate. Now the services manager here, this is this does look the same as 2000 or XP, roughly. But for other things, you have to dive into the administrative tools section. Now they did put an administrative tools icon in the control panel later to have a quick shortcut to it, but not in NT. Now, as far as the other things I put in here, uh, 7-zip, no problem. Uh, I had to put in a really ancient version of Java to get OpenOffice to work, which was 112. I'm pretty sure about that. Oops, let me just close that. Yeah, I'm sorry, the uh, Java 2 runtime environment, SE version 1.4.2. Whew, and there's some other things that IE4 put in here. Uh, the web publishing wizard, media player 6.4. I have not try I didn't try to install VLC, although I'm 99% sure there's a version of that that would work in here, but I seriously, seriously doubt you could play DVD movies in NT4. Really not much more to say about NT other than this. Uh, if you do get it to install and install properly, you can put Flash Player 9 in this as long as you get uh, Service Pack 6, 6A in here, it's actually quite speedy. I was quite surprised at this. Windows 2000 is the better of the two, obviously. But if you don't have Windows 2000 and you want to give NT 4.0 a go, so to speak, yeah, works out pretty good. Another thing that I liked about NT 4 is that it has a plus tab by default. So you can smooth the edges of the screen fonts. There is no clear type or open type in NT4 or Windows 2000. So you go to the uh, display properties in a plus tab so you can show icons using all possible colors, which you should do, and smooth edges of screen fonts, which means when you're view viewing a large font like this or this on a web page, it'll smooth them out, looks a little better. Um, as I said, there's really not much more I could say about this other than the fact it is more usable than I gave it credit for. Not saying you should go out and use it. If you're going to go old for games, I still am of the opinion, go at 95 or 98. If you'd rather have more of a workstation style PC, NT4 is usable, and oh, but 2000 would be the better choice. So yeah, there you go. Windows NT4 in a nutshell. And by the way, when you shut down, it plays the sound backwards. Not only that, but it will not shut off the computer. It will give you a notice that says, it is safe to turn off your computer now. You know how you've been told forever, never hit the power button with Windows? It, with NT4, you have to. So when you go to shut down, it says it is now safe to turn off your computer. Your only option here is to restart or hit the power button. Anyway, that's it, guys. Take it easy.